I'm good. You know what I'm doing, Miss Kelly? What are you doing, Terry? Well, because Venice Theater right now can't put on any shows, so I'm spending my time cleaning. Well, that is such a good help. Mm -hmm. And I see you have a screwdriver here because you yes. are Terrence the Technical Theater Toucan. That's right. That's my whole name. <laughs> hey, I have to put that away. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It goes over there. Good job, Terrence. Thank Thanks. you so much for helping. Well, thank you, Miss Kelly. And will you help me? I have to put the rest of these things away and those costumes. Oh, of, yeah, of course. I'd be happy to. Thanks. Um, well, you know what else we can do right now, what? Terrence? What? I mean, other than just cleaning up. What? Um, we can tell stories. <gasps> I love stories, Miss Kelly. And... Especially right now, because we have so many friends who are at home. I know. Do you know what? I can't spend time with my friends right now. My mom says I have to practice something called social distancing. That's right, Terrence. Social distancing. Mm -hmm. It's making sure that um, we keep space between oh. us and other How people. How much space? Well, they like us to keep six feet oh, or more. Six feet. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. And they don't want us to be in groups of bigger than 10. Oh, does that apply to toucans? I don't think that it applies to toucans. <gasps> so that means I can be close to you. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Miss Kelly. So speaking of stories, yeah. um, we just finished our showcase. And <gasps> these costumes back here yeah. um, are from our showcase. Are they? They are. Some of our youngest kids told the story of the Sneetches. The Sneetches. Mm -hmm. That's a Dr. I Seuss. love that story. They have stars upon Mars. You're right. <laughs> and these costumes uh -huh. are for Hansel and Gretel. Who? Uh, it's a story. It's called Hansel and Gretel. Those are funny names, Miss Callie. You're right. But they are names of the two main characters in this story. <gasps> Miss Callie. What, Terry? Miss Callie. Yes? Could you tell me that story? I think I could probably handle that. <gasps> that would be fun. All right. Let's do that. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, oh you're going to sit over there? Well, I'll come over by you. Okay. 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 Oh, squirrel. There's a squirrel, Miss Kelly. It's a stuffed squirrel, Terrence. It's oh, okay. I'm not afraid. It's okay. Me neither. Okay, good. I, I'm not afraid, Miss Kelly. I'm not afraid at all. It's good. You're very brave too, can Terrence. Oh. We also have a stuffed. It's stuffed. Yes, we also have a stuffed rabbit oh. and masks right there. Masks. Some theater masks. Oh, <gasps> Miss Kelly. Yes. Could you tell me a story about masks sometime? We could probably do that, Terrence. Oh, that would be fun. Nice. Well, today okay. our story is Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, those are the funny named kids. <laughs> <laughs> but they bet they're nice. Yes, I bet oh. they are too. Well, we'll find out in just a second, okay? Okay. All right. Once upon a time, yeah. Hansel and Gretel uh -huh. lived with their father and their stepmother in a small cottage. Cottage? What's a cottage? Well, a cottage is a small house. Oh. At the edge of a forest. Oh. Now, their father was a woodcutter. Oh. But at this time, woodcutters didn't make a whole lot of money. Oh. So their family yeah. was wondering how in the world they were going to have enough food for four people. Oh, no. I know. Mm. Well, their stepmother yeah. had a plan. Oh. Let's hear it. And one day, yeah. her and Hansel and Gretel's father yeah. were having an argument about this plan. Oh, and no. Hansel and Gretel heard her. <gasps> and her plan was yeah. to take the children into the forest uh -huh. and to leave them. No! Yes. Leave them in the forest? I know. That's horrible. It is. That's that's mean. It is mean, but she is one of our antagonists in this story. Uh, antagonist? Yes. Antagonist? Miss Kelly, what's an antagonist? Well, an antagonist is kind of like the bad character in a story. Oh, and the stepmother is bad. She is in well, this, this story. Stepmother. Yes, in this story. You're not all stepmothers are bad. <laughs> no, Terrence. <laughs> <laughs> I know some are not. Thank you, Terrence. <laughs> so, um, she decided that yeah. the best way 
to fix their problem yes. would be to take the children into the forest and leave them. Oh. Well, Hansel oh. and Gretel were very smart children and they had heard the argument. Uh -huh. So Hansel collected tiny stones and he put them in his pocket. Oh. And when the stepmother was walking them to the forest, Hansel had left them on the path all the way into the forest. Well, as they got into the forest, the stepmother had them gather berries. Uh-huh. Berries? Mm -hmm. What kind of berries? Um, I'm thinking probably blackberries. Blackberries? Yeah, because those are the kind that grow wild in the forest. Oh. I mean, there's strawberries, but those yeah. grow in the ground. They do? Mm -hmm. In the dirt? Yep. Wow. And blueberries grow in trees. Trees? Mm -hmm. Blueberries grow in trees? They do. Blueberry are you bushes. Sure? Yep. They're big, tall trees. Oh. Yeah. So, when night fell, yeah. Hansel and Gretel were all alone. Oh. But Hansel knew that he had left the stones for them to follow. Oh. So very soon they made it home and their father was overjoyed. <laughs> Yay! But you know who was not overjoyed? The mean stepmother. Their stepmother. Oh. So the next day, yeah. She took Hansel and Gretel into the woods again. Not again? Mm -hmm. oh. This time Hansel had collected breadcrumbs to oh. leave on the path. Oh, instead of stones? Instead of stones. Oh. So as night fell, yeah. and it was time to head back to the house, yes. and they looked for their breadcrumb oh. path, they oh. couldn't find it. They couldn't find it? Mm -mm. Well, where were the breadcrumbs? Well, you see, as yeah. soon as Hansel had dropped them, uh huh. The birds had eaten the breadcrumbs. Oh, the bird! Oh, it's true. We like breadcrumbs. I love bread, <laughs> Miss Kelly. You know, I especially love bread with peanut butter. Mm, bread with peanut butter is delicious. Toasted. So Hansel and Gretel were lost in the <gasps> forest, they all were alone. Lost? Yep, in the dark. Oh, oh, it's horrible to be lost. It sure is. You know what, Miss Kelly? What? Sometimes lately, with all this stuff that's happened, I feel kind of lost. Oh, I'm sorry you feel lost, Terrence. Yeah. But it's okay. Sometimes it, with a change of schedules or when things are different, yeah. we can sometimes feel a little bit lost. Oh, so it's not just me. Absolutely, it's you not just you. You mean other people are feeling lost yep. too? Uh-huh, 100%. Oh. And sometimes change yeah. is good though. Oh. Um, because yeah. before, you were probably really busy, right? Oh, I was very busy. And maybe you didn't have as much time to play outside and get no. sunshine as you would have liked. Right, and I have been getting to spend a lot of time with my family. Mm. See, so sometimes change is good. And you know what? Before long, everything will be back to normal. Good. Well, what happened to Hansel and Gretel? How so, did they deal with being lost? Well, Hansel and Gretel yeah. were lost in the woods. Uh -huh. And pretty soon, they came to a clearing. Wow. And in that clearing was the most beautiful house they had ever seen. Really? It was made of gingerbread. Oh, I with love gingerbread. Icing. I and love icing. Sweets yeah. and treats oh. all over. Oh. Well, Hansel and Gretel had they were obviously hungry. They'd well, been lost. Well, because the birds ate the bread. Exactly. Yeah. So they immediately began eating off of the house. <gasps> Did they eat the whole house? I don't think so. No, their stomachs were hurt. Yeah. yeah. So pretty soon, a strange old woman came from the house and How invited strange. them inside. Well, very strange old woman. Oh. She invited them inside. And no. Hansel and Gretel, being lost and alone in the woods, yeah. decided that they would go inside. Why with would the they woman. go inside with the, with the strange lady? What they didn't know, though, oh. is that this strange old woman oh. was a wicked witch. Oh. Terrence? What? Ter where did. Terrence? What? Why are you hiding? Because of the witch. She scared me. Oh, Terrence, it's okay. She's our other antagonist. <gasps> antagonist, that's a bad character, mm -hmm. but stories have to have them. Exactly. Okay. You don't need to be scared. Okay. It's just a story. Okay. Oh. Well, so no sooner had they gotten into the house yeah. than the wicked witch locked Hansel into a cage. A cage? Mm -hmm. And oh. she made Gretel her servant. Oh, what Gretel did she had, have to do? She had to cook oh. and clean oh. and gather firewood wow. and do all of the chores in the whole entire house. All of them? All of them. Oh. 
And the Wicked Witch had told Hansel yeah. that as soon as he gained enough weight and was nice and plump, she would cook him for dinner. Cook him? Mm-hmm. Wow! Now... Hansel was a very smart boy. Oh, yeah. And witches have historically bad eyesight. Oh, they do? They do. Wow. She should wear glasses. <laughs> we My don't... brother, he wears glasses. Well, we don't want her to wear glasses. That wouldn't help our friends in the story. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 what happened? So... Um, every day, the Wicked Witch would ask Hansel uh -huh. to show him her finger so she could say, show me your finger. Why would he show her his finger? So, instead of holding his finger out, Hansel would hold out a chicken bone. Oh, 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 because she wanted more meat. She wanted bigger Hansel, and he showed the chicken bone because he wanted to be skinny. Exactly. So it was to trick the Wicked Witch. Oh. He would show her a chicken bone instead of his finger. Oh. And so every day the witch would ask, and every day Hansel would always stay very thin and skinny. Oh. Well, pretty soon that Wicked Witch was very, very frustrated. I bet, because she kept feeding him. Mm -hmm. So one day, fed up, she said, it's time to cook Hansel for dinner. Oh, so she no. sent Gretel to get the firewood. Uh -huh. And they started a fire in the furnace. <gasps> now, oh. Hansel or Gretel was also a smart little girl. Oh. So when the witch told Gretel, check the temperature in the fire, Gretel knew that that was a trick. Oh. And she said in her sweetest, most innocent voice, Yeah. Um, I don't know how to check the temperature of a fire. I don't know how to check a temperature on a fire either. Well, this wasn't one you could really check the temperature. This was a big giant furnace, so it just had oh. bunches of flames inside oh, of it. Kind of wow. like a campfire almost. Oh, okay. So, the Wicked Witch, being very frustrated, said, You silly girl, how do you not know how to check a temperature? It's very simple. And she walked to the door, and as soon as she opened the door and leaned in, Gretel pushed her inside the furnace and shut the door behind her. Wow, good for Gretel! Exactly, and Gretel saved the day. <laughs> and pretty soon, yeah. they searched the house for things to help on their journey on the way home. Uh-huh. And do you know what they found? What? They found a great big chest of treasure. Treasure? Yeah. What kind of treasure? Oh, I imagine it was gold and jewels and coins. <gasps> coins? Hey, did they check and make sure the coins weren't chocolate? Because once I got some gold coins and they were chocolate. That's a good question considering the house was made of gingerbread. Mm -hmm. However, I think these were real gold coins what? because Hansel and Gretel took them on their journey to uh -huh. find their way home. Yeah? Now pretty soon they found a path that looked familiar to them. Well, you know what? That's just like whenever I go to Venice Theater, whenever I see the fountain, I always know I'm close to Venice Theater because it's right around the corner. Was it like that, Miss Kelly? I think it was. So they oh. recognized something familiar, oh. and they knew they were close to home. Oh. And as soon oh. as they got home, their father was so overjoyed to see them because, you see, the stepmother had left, oh. and the father was just his one wish was that his children would come home. And he got it. He did. He got his one wish. Oh. And so the three of them lived happily ever after. Oh, Miss Kelly, that's a wonderful story. Story. Thank you, Terrence. <sighs> Miss Kelly. Yes? Would you do me a huge favor? Certainly. Would you tell me a story again sometime? I think I could make that happen, Terrence. Oh, I would like that very much. Me too. <gasps> Thank you, Miss Kelly. Thank you for listening. And mm. thank you for helping clean up around the theater. It's so helpful. Oh, we've got to do something to keep ourselves busy right now. We sure do. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.